Hi guys, today I am meeting a brand new gardener on location at one of our big box stores so that I can help her get started with her gardening. And she lives in a townhome, so her space is limited. So we're gonna get her started with some container gardening. <sighs> I hate these things. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. Stay tuned and let's get started. We were just talking about the difference between the potting mix and the topsoil and in-ground soil. So I think she learned something. You wanna go on camera? Wanna say hi? Hi. Hi YouTube family. <laughs> so we are at one of the big box stores today so that we can get her some plants some vegetables to be more specific we're going to get some vegetables we're going to get her container gardening started so Fran oh. is really super excited <laughs> <laughs> she thought this was so pretty that this is on this italian parsley y'all see it but isn't it pretty though you see how pretty she thinks that is but look at what it's doing it's eating the plant thank I you and that's what it'll do to your plant <laughs> Well, you stay away That's from too my funny. <laughs> so we survived the big box store and so we grabbed several things we have some uh, purple cabbage we have the traditional green cabbage we have buttercrisp lettuce we have uh, the iceberg lettuce we have tomatoes uh, let's see what else we have we have kale look at that kale it is just beautiful. Look at the foliage on this kale. It is so beautiful. I love it. And we have some red onion. We'll get started by adding soil to some of the larger pots. In this pot, we're going to add the red onion. And to the second larger pot, we're going to add the tomato plant. So she decided on the Cherokee purple, the Cherokee purple tomato. So we're going to place that one into this larger pot here. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the red onion. And so all she's gonna do is just make four holes in this pot. And this is a three gallon pot. So she's gonna take the bulbs from the container and literally just drop them down in the hole and cover. How many? You can just put one or two in each hole. That's it. Okay. And that's deep enough. Okay. That's cool that they grow from like uh, actual onion bowls. Yeah. And just like that, our onion bulbs are ready. She has plenty to plant in more containers because we have a whole bag. This bag has 50 in it. So the next thing that we're going to plant, gonna make a hole in the center for your tomato. All right, and so when you get ready to uh, remove your plant from its container that it's in, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you squeeze just a little bit, just lightly, okay. and then turn it over oh. and look how it slid out. Okay? And so you can mess with your roots just a little bit at the bottom. Just a little bit. And there you go. And that's just enough for the root to say, hey, I have room to spread now. That's what you want. So one of the things to remember about the tomato plant is that it does need to be deep because we have the miracle Grow soil. We don't need any more nutrients right now. Okay. And so we're just going to add a little bit of soil around it. Okay. So, <laughs> so let's see. In this container, we'll plant the kale. Because the kale 
And you're not going to put all of the kale in there. Okay. You can just start with two plants okay. in that one. So make a hole. Yep. Does it need to be deep? Uh, yeah, a little bit deeper for the kale because the kale, do you see how long the stalk is on that kale? Mm -hmm. It's going to get really, really long. The stalk on my kale is literally about this long. It's one from last year, but eventually you are probably going to need to add it to a larger container. Okay. And But that you can do in time. Okay. So, same thing. When you're removing the kale, just squeeze a little bit around the one that you want to remove. Okay. That's what it feels like. <laughs> and then, same thing. Yep, you can loosen up a little bit and then put it nice and deep down in there. Stand it up mm -hmm. straight and pack your soil around it. Is the purple cabbage? And she's just going to place one of the purple cabbage plants down into this container. It's raining. Yep, I work in the rain. That's what I do because <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so we're using a recycled water bottle. That's a gallon sized water bottle. And we just cut the one side off of the water bottle and using it. So remember always recycle reduce reuse everything that you can gardening in small spaces is highly possible you must sweet potatoes <laughs>